go, Crayeris. It is time for your mid-August to September read for this current year. Yay! So, let us begin. Aquarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. No, not Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm totally thinking of Fridays. Anyway, check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Won't work if you don't believe in it. Boop on your nose. If you want a personal reading after this, my email, Instagram, and Facebook are in the description below. First readings free of charge. Everything else after comes with the price. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Someone feels like some shit's unfair. Someone's holding back. When it comes to some emotional fulfilling situation, right? With the wants and wishes, we got five of wands reverse. Nobody cares about like the end goal. They're just hitting each other with sticks. That's the goal now. Everyone's just beating the fuck out of each other with sticks. Also, golden challenge coming against somebody. Also, cross watchers switch where necessary. We don't judge here. Um, four of pentacles. Someone trying to secure themselves to death. Like, they'll waste more money on security than they will actually make money. Leading them into a fiery doom if they aren't paying attention. Fears and rejections is not waiting on something anymore when it comes to the catalyst as well as the final result. What'll bring this shit full circle. Broken home, doors slammed in somebody's face. Four of Wands. Could be with a Gemini, right? The Empress. Mother figure of some sort. Very expressive. Very loving. Very nurturing and kind. Could be Aries, Taurus, Libra, that Venetian energy. Okay, so someone's not being unfair based on the fact that they're insecure and they're really willing to cut something off. But they're afraid to cut that something off too, right? Meanwhile, they want to be happy, but it's like everyone's just fighting each other for the sake of it. And that's what's causing this door to become closed. With the Six of Pentacles, where someone's being completely unfair with what they're giving somebody else. Um, it deals with the relationship and how someone possibly broke up because of it. And how resurrecting and, 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 and kind of living like a shell. It's like y'all broke up, but you still live in the same house because rent's expensive. So you gotta be roommates. And you gotta remember you can't fuck each other anymore. Which would, I would figure would be really hard to do because it's like, how do you do that? How do you not have. How do you break up with someone and not need stuff with them? I don't know. And then live in the same house. Wasn't there a movie about that with like Vincent Va Vaughn and uh, Jennifer Aniston, I think her name is? I don't know. Ten of Cups right here. Emotion and fulfillment. Happily ever after. Someone wants to go in search of it. Or some booty. One of the two. Maybe they think that booty will lead to that fulfillment. You know? Uh, but they're kind of throwing justice out the window. They're kind of making their own justifications into it. But the justifications are really whack and noticeable. Now with this Five of Swords scenario. Not Five of Swords. Five of Wands scenario. Everybody's just fighting each other. No one cares about the goals anymore. Um, too busy worrying about being a victor in something. And listening to their intuition but just listening to it in a way that's like kind of not expressing it or purposely just pushing it to the side for now because they think oh I can deal with this later or I'll just let all of this pull up or whatever or something it's like this, all of this combativeness is just It's like someone's intuitively aware what they can do to win victories with all this fighting, but it's like... It doesn't serve anything. It's like to prove them right, almost. Like to prove what they are thinking is right. Four of Pentacles reverse, my dears. Someone trying to be secure to death. Uh... All because this tower's image is actually faded. And they don't want to go towards that shit. I don't blame them. Like, this shit's been exposed. The mask has been struck. 
Other people are ignoring it, those sphinx on the sides, but you can see it clear as day. And you're not trying to go to that shit. Right? Now that we got the three of wands down here. Well, more like up here, because that's above, but you know. Um, someone's afraid or rejecting the idea of, of like cutting things off, cutting off the flow of energy, and just getting on the boat and taking off somewhere just to forget their woes. Because uh, they're tired of this insecurity and bareness being in their face. Or maybe they feel like their insecurities are baseless. Four of Wands reversed, doors closed, and the relationship is sour. This relationship was not the emotional fulfillment that happy ending somebody was looking for. And now they're leaving their turtle as a token of love while they go search somewhere else in the ocean. Somewhere to lay their eggs like turtles of the sea. A mistress might be involved. Pisces or Cancer. Yeah. Some of them I had their back here when this bitch came in, too. Because this is always my mistress card. She's offering thin mint soup and, like, some shiny mirror thing. Like, she might be a mistress who could be a mother. But I feel like she is not... I feel like the Empress picks up her energy, but she doesn't know where she is. Like, where the fuck is this bitch? I'm right below you. I drink Bailey's from a shoe. Who the fuck said that? You know? Possibly, definitely third party involved, and someone's, like, picking up notice of that. Like, they're seeing the signs, maybe, being really intuitive with it. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Heartbreak involved. Someone knew it all along. And they're telling. They're running around and telling people what a piece of shit you are. But they're still looking for a reason to say. Not necessarily you, but like, you know what I mean. Oh, dear. Hello, Fanny Mae. Get back here. Like, someone's looking for calmer waters in order to gain a vic- No, they're not looking for calmer waters. They're looking for a reason to stick around. Like, they were right, they caught the person, and now they're just starting all these arguments because they just know. They know deep inside that this person's messing around. That's why they're starting the arguments. They're tired of feeling like they're putting their foundation down on nothing. And it's visibly nothing. And, and like, they're looking for a reason to stick around after they get victorious with all these arguments and shit, right? But none of the options are really all that good, dude. You know? It's time to walk away from that past situation. Find something better for you. Leave it fucky if you have to, almost. Because um, it's got you having your guard up really harshly. You want to offer your cup somewhere else, or maybe this person's coming back to offer that shit to you? And you are going to fight it off to death. <laughs> to the death. You are on the rooftop fighting to the death. And you're trying to make sure this shit doesn't start, Aquarius. Damn. That was dramatic as hell. Anyway, that's your reading, Aquarius. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. I would greatly appreciate it. Love your guys' faces, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.